Yo, what up, people? This may be a little echoey. Uh, we are in our new creative space, um, and we didn't realize how bad it was gonna echo as we talk, but we were gonna get that fixed, gonna put up some paneling um, and stuff like that. But I wanted to make a video. Um, I've been kind of away from social media, uh, away from Instagram, uh, just kind of getting insular and just like really focused on building our agency and our business. Um, and sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes you need to take a break. So I wanted to make this video about why I deleted my Instagram account uh, and, and, and not necessarily, not deleted the actual account, but deleted the app off of my phone so I could take time to actually focus. Uh, we, we live in a world where we have so much input, right? We have so much things fighting for, so many things fighting for our attention and trying to um, uh, uh, take our energy and take our, our space and our, our, our uh, just brain power. And sometimes it gets overwhelming, right? Sometimes you need to focus. And I found myself like every, you know, five, 10 minutes, well, not that often, but every like maybe hour, hour and a half checking my phone and just constantly checking it and, and, and looking at Instagram, right? And, and just end up looking out and you waste five, 10, 15 minutes of just looking at nonsense stuff that just doesn't, doesn't mean anything or things that aren't gonna, you know, push you forward. And sometimes you need a break, right? Some of the stuff, a lot of the pages that I follow is great content and it's helpful and useful and stuff like that. But some of the times you're just looking at stuff that just is, it just doesn't make sense. It's just literally wasting your creative space and the calibration time from going through that distraction to getting focused on your work or whatever it is that you're doing, there's a process. It, it, it kind of like knocks you off balance, right? And so I, I just got to a point where I was like, you know, I have to delete this off of my phone because I need to eliminate my distractions because I need to focus and I need to think and I need clarity, right? I need clarity. Sometimes uh, when you're working on a problem or you have some things that you're trying to, to fix, um, you need to you need to have a clear mind and if you have all this constant input coming in there's no way to actually be able to produce right um, and I you know this these last couple months I needed to produce right I needed to put out a lot of um, valuable work uh, within our agency and we, we had a lot of stuff that we were doing that a lot was riding on it and so I needed to be able to take time to focus so I cut down my consumption of Instagram. I would delete it off of my phone. I, I would download it maybe uh, once a day just to kind of check it and then delete it again. Um, and so it just got to a point where it was it was very helpful and it helped me just think and think clear. So I just, I wanted to make this video and, and, and share my experience of what it did for me uh, and how uh, helpful it was uh, and how much it was, how valuable it was to get rid of that distraction even for the short amount of time, uh, just to take that time to really focus and, and to figure, uh, figure out some things and some, some challenges and things that we were working on in the business. So um, with that being said, sometimes you, know, you need to take a step back. So don't feel like you're gonna miss out on something by being able to take a step back a little bit to be able to um, move forward and to be able to recalibrate your, your mind and your thoughts. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you're building something, you're building a business, if you're, you know, going through schooling, if you're, whatever it is that you're trying to do, sometimes you need that, that mental clarity. And I found that taking a break from social media is something that is vital uh, to be able to kind of recalibrate that, that mindset and that, that focus um, and, and to regain that attention span. So, hope this video helps. Um, I am going to, uh, the whole reason why we got this creative space, um, there's nothing really exciting yet, uh, but we're going to hang up some stuff. Um, we got some stuff for a podcast. We got the mic and stuff right here. So I'm going to uh, start this, this podcast series, right? Kind of long form conversations with, with, um, uh, with other guests uh, and then also just sharing my experiences about you know, building this agency, building this business. You know, we started, we started, I started my first business in high school in 2005. And just all the things that I've learned along the way about turning a vision into reality, stuff that, that's, that, that was helpful for me that I wish I would have learned earlier. As you can hear, we're right by <laughs> the, the train station. So, um, you know, it's not the best location to do recording and, and to do content as you, you can hear this echo and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, 
I think this is perfect, right? I think this is perfect because I want to showcase that it's not always going to be perfect, right? We don't have a podcasting studio. We don't have something that's going to make it sound professional quality, right? That it's going to, you know, not have that echo. But the thing is, the, the thing that's most important is the content and that you actually do stuff, right? It's actually putting it out. So with this series, <clears throat> I want to showcase that, right? And, and the whole concept is doing everything different. For you guys that have been following me and that, that kind of know my background and my story, you know I'm all about doing things different, right? To get something you never had, you must do something you never done. And that's the whole purpose and, and that's the whole process of growth and, and, and building and, and not even just in your business, just becoming a better person, right? It's about um, step by step, slowly getting better and, and doing things, finding things and, and new ways of doing things more efficient um, and, and just in a better way. Uh, and, and I just want to I just want to be able to add value to this channel um, and be able to put out this content. And so this series, again, is just going to be me sharing my thoughts um, and my process and the things that I've went through, the things that I've learned, and then also interviewing other people that have had to do things different to get to where they are and so that's the whole concept i think everybody can relate to that as far as doing something that didn't work and then having to make the the readjustments and to be able to try it again um, until it worked and so i think it's just super valuable to be able to put that information out there um, <clears throat> i think that if if you've if you've been strong enough to get through something in life, I think it's your responsibility to share it with the next generation and share it with people that uh, may be going through the process and need that little bit of encouragement to say, hey, you know, it's, it's not working right now, but it will work if you continue to, to push forward on your vision. Uh, the, the conversation that I had with um, the guys from Cur Currency Apparel um, in Alabama, I've been getting a great response from that. So I want to put out more content like that because I think that it, it, it was really helpful for a lot of people. So that's just, I, I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on what, what to expect from this channel, um, what to expect from me coming up in the future as far as just with, on a content uh, standpoint. And, uh, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend, great day. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and, uh, and like this video. Talk to you soon. Peace.